Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I bring to you a very important video, and I apologize for not sharing this with you earlier. Uh, um, today is Saturday, uh, and Shabbat Shalom to those of you who do like to keep Saturday as the Sabbath. I do not, because I believe Jesus died on the cross to fulfill the Old Testament. He brought us a new one. He fulfilled that one and brought us a new one. Although he does say the first one is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the second is like it, to love your neighbor as yourself. On these fall all the laws and the prophets. Which is kind of strange and I really can't explain why he includes the word and the prophets. At any rate, um, I choose to keep each day alike. As Paul says, one man keeps one day as special. Another man keeps every day alike. And I believe that also goes for the holidays. So it's kind of, anyway, I'm not getting into it. And I get that gets me off the subject. Uh, I just do realize that a lot of you like to keep Saturday as a Sabbath. So if you're able to do that, that's great. But the Lord knew it would be impossible for many types of careers like nursing, police work, fire work, firemen. Um, if you have to work in a store, almost everybody works Saturday, right? Well, I don't know here lately with COVID, <laughs> they shut down a lot of stores. <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess they're opening back up. And some of them, uh, like in the UK, you can't go in unless you have, the, you know, the required thing <laughs> and your card to prove it. Now, talk about needing to have something to buy or sell. Well, anyway, I'm not going to get off into that. This is... Um, I talk about Team Jesus, you know, sometimes how I heard this on Team Jesus or we did this Bible study on Team Jesus. All right, well, this is Kathy. For, uh, Kathy and Dan have the channel grafted in Team Jesus, and she did a special live stream this morning from Edward Umling's Word. Now, because many of you have probably heard it, I'm going to skip it. And go straight to what Kathy says about it and because of it. And and then I will link it. I mean, well, I guess I could go back and play it because many of you might not have heard it. And it's really awesome and leads us to know what time we're in. So I'll I'll go back. Let me see. I'm at let's see. I'm not she plays it twice so I'm not real sure uh, I'll just start it at the beginning you today? yes and Dan is here but anyway I don't want you to miss anything but I don't want to play the whole video it's 20 minutes and you can go and click on the you can click on the link Okay, here's what I want to do. Uh, please click on the link. This this is, okay. Um, oh, Lord, help me. Help me to bring this about. Um, I don't want to be a 20-minute video and then she's a 20-minute video because I know people have time limits and you have others you want to watch. So uh, let me go ahead and play. One of Edward, he's, she repeats it because they're so intense. She just does that a lot when we're listening to them online. Let's go ahead and listen to Edward. And Dan is here too, Kathy and Dan. And uh, I'm wearing my Team Jesus shirt. I haven't worn it in a while. And yeah, you're seeing my face I because that's those. how big this is. Like, <laughs> wait till you hear. I am so excited. Uh, Brother Edward had a message from the Lord this morning. And uh, all you first fruits, are you ready? Are you ready? 
Are you all ready for this? Are you ready? <laughs> now she's switching over. And here it goes. The following are words of knowledge. Downpour imminent. Prepare for the thundering rain. No delay. The pure in heart. Mansions above. Dressed in white. Standing by the river of life. Seasons of plenty. Seasons of famine. There at the door I will examine. The father above has set his seal of love. Who can deny the righteous cry? Here I am to bind that pride, for I am the judge of them that died. Turn to me and free your soul, wash it clean and come to me, for I am here to take you home. Won't you come to the Father's throne? Woo! The words of knowledge with that are, let the little children come to me, dancing and rejoicing. Fourth watch of the night, Fourth open watch. heaven. Veil rolled back, angels with trumpets. The following are unrelated words of knowledge. The liberty to traverse publicly is being removed. This pertains to believers. Now I perform my word, I raise up voices of opposition, says the Lord. The Lord says there are false voices that appear genuine. Plaquemine and perish, embrace. See how I moved to the west and pull down commerce? The crops of the nation do I smite, says the Lord. Here comes a tsunami from the east, says the Lord. This is from June 29th, 2020. Drought, famine, and pestilence will be the theme for next year. That would be this year. Those who call themselves Christians should repent with prepared obedience. Humble yourself before God. Pray earnestly for his mercy. The Lord says, Revelation chapter 13. Our okay. Revelation chapter 13. Do y'all know what's in that? You read it if you don't. All right, now she decides to play it again, so I'm going to fast forward up to where she starts talking. Because I haven't shared this with you, and I want you to understand it. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right, we... Bring me back. Okay. So, um, first fruits. This is it. Get ready. We're going. All right. So here's the deal. Prep. All right. Now, spiritual preparation. Spiritual. Okay. Um, heart healing and deliverance. If anybody, anybody who knows they are a first fruit, you've got to have that heart healing and deliverance. If there's anybody out there who has not please send us an email. I'll send you the, the um, video we have that... I'm going to link the video in the description box. I've been holding it in my email to send anybody that asks me about deliverance. How, how do I get delivered from... I think I might have a demon. How do I get delivered? And I've sent it to a couple of people already, but I thought, when this played, I thought, I should have done shared it with all of you because you might not even realize that you have these little boxes that she talks about. Like, you might have been a little child and were abused or uh, beaten or mistreated emotionally maybe through your whole childhood and you just learn to keep stuffing it and stuffing it finding ways to deal with it so that it didn't just tear you apart and every time you had to stuff it you created a little box to put it in and a lot of times the demons 
involved in that type of abuse, go in with it. And it's not even your fault. Okay, I'm going to let her talk now. Talks you through the whole thing. It's an absolute must. You have to have that heart healing and deliverance because you got it. God's got to create in you a clean heart. He's got to circumcise your heart. Um, you've got to walk away from the world. Um, now, you know, you got to function in the world till we actually get taken, but you still can't be part of it. Okay. You got to really separate yourself. Um, you got to, um, through the heart healing and deliverance, you're going to come up and out, which means two years ago, and I explained this in a video um, uh, a couple years ago. Uh, two, uh, two years ago, when, once you get once you get the heart healing and deliverance, what God's been what God showed me was He knew two years ago that we're done. Okay, that there's not time to go through. I understand that you guys are benefiting from 20 years of heart healing and deliverance that I had to go through personally. Okay, so understand. Praise the Lord. You don't have to do that. So God gave us a shortcut and it's called up and out. All right. And what he's doing is he's going down to those deepest, darkest roots and pulling them up and out. Just like he did Peter out of the water to stand up on the water with him. That's what up and out means. Okay. So um, if there's Dan, want to say something? I was just going to pray because we haven't prayed. But Father, I okay. just pray right. that. Each and every single person watching this video will realize that your your son, Jesus Christ, the, the King of Kings, is coming soon. So I just thank you, God, for this time that we've had to be able to declare it, you know. And I thank you for our brother, Edward Umling, who keeps up the uh, the good works that he's doing by faith through you. And we, yes. And we just ask that you bless him, Father. Bless him, yes, Father. And uh, we just ask that you help us to persevere until the end. Help yes, us to Lord. endure to the end, Father. And uh, give us the strength to continue to go on to do the mighty things that we're going to be doing soon. Hallelujah. Soon. We Amen. thank you for this time, Lord. We give this all to you for your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, I think I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to put the link to this video in the description box and the link to how you can get free of any heart healing issues, deliverance issues that you might need. She lumps them together, and it's because of the 20 years, really 18 as of two years ago. That she has gone through, the Lord brought her out of the Catholic Church, and she said she was so, how did she put it, Catholic y? <laughs> she was just a real dedicated pro Catholic. Catholic's the only way you have to be a Catholic, and that's how we're taught. I was, you know, when I was Catholic, that. You had to be Catholic to go to heaven. It's the only way. And that they taught them that. And that back then, you had to marry a Catholic. You had to bring your children up Catholic, which is why you had to have them a godparent. Best to have godparents. Um, even if they weren't married, like my brother and I were godparents to my baby sister, who was the 12th child. My parents ran out of relatives to be godparents, okay? So my brother and I got to be godparents. My oldest sister and my oldest brother were godparents to the twins, I think, both of them, which says that because the, um, this is how it's supposed to work, if you're a Catholic, and their parents died, the godparents were supposed to see to it that they were raised in the Catholic Church. It's just to perpetuate people being Catholic. So anyway, she said she was a real super good Catholic girl. And he brought her out of that. And immediately she learned how to heal and deliver while she was still a Catholic. 
And it, her testimony is just awesome. And we heard a good bit of it last night, or maybe it was the night before, and it was just really awesome. Um, she walked, she, I tell you, when you listen to the Lord, when you're obedient to the word, she was obedient to the Catholic word, but yet she was doing it for Jesus. See, that's how I was when I was Catholic. I loved Jesus. I wanted to be a nun for Jesus ever since I was probably six years old, six or seven. Only I wanted to be a nun nurse. That's what I would. T I told my doctor when I had cancer. I remember after my third surgery, I was, and it was one of my checkups, and I was able to be released until a year from then. And he said to me, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" I said, "I want to be a nun nurse." That's all I knew to call it. I wanted to be a nurse as a nun. And they work in the Catholic hospitals. He said, okay, I want you to come and uh, let us x-ray you every year until you take your final vows. And that would have been until I was like 25. Well, <laughs> my dad had other plans because the Cancer Society cut us off and he had to start paying co-pays. So I quit when I was about 15 <laughs> and thankfully it never grew back praise the Lord the Lord healed me that he took care of it he had, they had a lot of Catholics praying for me and so he listened he listened to their prayers because they were sincere okay uh, so I'm going to leave the links and you check this out be sure to watch that uh, she talks for about five minutes or so into the video before she gets into it so just be patient she she likes to talk like some of these other people in here not as much as some other people but um, it's a good hour and a half the deliverance one be prepared to be by yourself not be interrupted Turn your phone off. Be prayed up. You might even fast for a whole day. If you cannot fast from food, I'm telling you, then fast from something else for a few days. Just let the Lord know you are serious. You want your heart healed and delivered and do it quick. All right, I'm ending it here. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video. See, here I am. I've talked 18 minutes. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over each and every one of us, our devices, and our internet connections. And with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later. God bless each and every single one of you. Please make Jesus your Savior if you haven't. Please don't let Satan have your soul. Don't do it. Don't do it. And please, saints, keep trying to tell your folks, don't take, don't take it. You know what I mean. Don't let Satan have them, if you can help it. You can't hold them down. You can't take the keys from their car when they go to leave for it. You can't do that. They have to understand That's all I have to say. Bye for now. Talk to you later.